cling to nothing, not hope, not fear, but dare to live the dream. For all we have so far imagined is merely the mists of dawn. But the light of awareness lays bare the mud out of which every lotus is born. So let go your mind, let go your body, let go your self, embrace the goddess. Formless, bornless, perfect, pureness, eternally virgin, her holy horness. Squaring the circle, the temptress, the turtle, bearing the world on her back as she goes, unbowed by all praise and unbent by all blows. Serene in the midst of the deepest confusion, an inscrutable smile of infinite amusement <coughs> graces her lips as she watches the antics of us idiot kids and our psychosemantics. Lost in her labyrinth, those hopeless romantics, perplexed by her paradox with their pedestrian pedantics. I mean, am I alone? Am I all one? Am I a madman? Where have I gone? Am I a saint or am I a sinner? A practiced professional or a total beginner? What am I doing and why am I doing it? She laughs at the riddle and whispers, <laughs> I knew it. And how she knows what she knows well, nobody knows. But this is her bliss, and by her blessing, we grow. Letting go and embracing, taking our place in the great consummation, the marriage divine of the beast and the god, of the pearls in the wine. Drink, she entreats, drink and be merry man. It is a short life, but a sweet life. So save nothing but a penny for the ferryman. And when you have drunk till your senses are sated, raise a toast one more time to her grace and her greatness. And then fall into her arms to first die and then awaken in her palace of wisdom on the throne of amazement. A babe at the nipple in perfect contentment, unknowing, uncaring, in pristine pre-sentiment, praising her name, most holy, most high. I am that I am with each satisfied side.